Jump starters. I am that red collector, and today it's top spin. <coughs> I could have done that so much better. <coughs> ah. But it's Titan's return. Doc's top spin. So there's the artwork there. Transformers, that same piece of artwork, and made decapitation, your obligatory product shots, your few word bio, uh, top spin the ability to target and deactivate the conversion cog of other bots, freezing enemies in whatever mode they are in. And then there's the cross cell with Shuffler Perceptor. Broadside, who I don't really want, and Sky Shadow, who looks actually pretty cool. But, yeah, nothing on the bottom. Nothing up there. Let's get it. Time to get it open and jumpstart this review. So here he is in his vehicle mode. And right off the bat, he is a remold heavy remold of Trigger Happy. So here's your comparison. There's a little bit of engineering that's similar, but like they remolded for this guy as much as they could. Like the like everything's remolded basically. Get a good three hundred and sixty degree range while we take trigger happy away. So this is the jump starter top spin, if you couldn't tell by the intro. He's now much more of a jet, a proper looking jet than his G one self. Which, depending on your preference, can be good or bad. So far, I like him. He definitely looks cool. And his brother, Twin Twist, has already been confirmed for a later wave. So, you, you might you want to pick this guy up, because then you want, you want to have both of the Jumpstart starter twins. Yeah, he's got his iconic things at the front of his alt mode. They are painted on the top side in silver with a little bit of blue there, white on the other side with some vents. Yeah, nice translucent cockpit right here for the target master. The not the target master, damn it. I'm thinking Takara because Takara is releasing target masters with their recent waves of uh, Titan Master figures like Cup. Uh, Rodimus, ooh, who else? Trigger Happy, like anyone that can't, that was a, that had a Target Master back in G1 is getting a Target Master in this, in this line along with their Headmaster, so they have doubled the gimmick. So, way to go, Takara. <laughs> He's decked out in his iconic white and blue with a bit of black and a bit of orange vents, which probably could have used a second coat of paint. I just assume, uh, I mean, it doesn't look too bad. But I'm not a paint expert. There's a bit of silver and red on the wings. You got your red Autobot sigil right there at the front. You do have a blue landing gear, which folds up 
and doesn't roll. And on the bottom, you can kind of see some stuff for robot mode. You also have a Tamashi stand peg port right there. You also have my favorite part. You have quadruple thrusters because he needs a lot of thrust. Even though, well, uh, wait, no, I was, I'm, my mind stuck on the nerdist when you don't talk about how you don't need wings in space, but these guys don't only fight in space, they normally fight in Earth's atmosphere. So, yeah, they kind of do need wings, which actually are hint are closable to a degree. They can go down like that. Uh, take a look at the... Take out the target. The, uh, I did it again. The Titan Master. Here's a little uh, freeze out. He's a unpainted, generic... Titan Master, who's probably a remold of, or they're probably not a remold, but probably just a repaint of one of the previous target, uh, oh, why do I keep saying Target Master? Titan Master is in the line, but with a different face on the back of his body. And you do have some uh, play options with him. Obviously he has the two ports and the thing on the back so you have one peg on each wing so you can do that and I'll just grab trigger happies Titan Master because I have him kind of here these these two target master Titan Masters aren't actually the same mold you can can I tell their arms are different and their heads are different? But most of their bodies, well, their chests are slightly remolded as well. So, they're probably not the same mold. But, yeah, you have one on each wing. You can stand them up. And they can go, woo, yay! We're flying! Whoosh. Whoosh. And you also have these ports on the back of the jet mode, which fit the little nubbin on the back of their legs so they can sit down. So you have room for five Titan Masters on this guy, on this toy. Two here, two here, one in the cockpit. But for some reason... I open the cockpit again. If you plug him into that port right there, right there, and try and sit him down, the cockpit doesn't fit over him and just pops off its hinges. So, I recommend lying him down when putting him in the cockpit, unless yours fits perfectly, then I don't know. Uh, we do have weapon compatibility and storage. I forgot. Here's the collector's card. Yay, collector's cards. Damn it. Couldn't get it right. Damn it. For freeze out and topsman. Yay, cards. And you have his twin, his dual double barrel blasters, which do look cool. And it's really, it's nice that they got painted silver. Because from what I can tell, they're. Generic gray plastic. And they look nice from one side, but you turn them over, it's like, oh, there's a lot of hollowness in them. But you can uh, combine them at a really weird angle to form that, which I guess Freeze Out can sit in, I think. Yeah. Uh, well, I think. Something like that. You can sit like that. Uh, you have, for weapon storage, you have slots under the wings for each one to go into. There's a peg right there. 
and it goes into that slot and it actually lo it's it looks really cool like I am probably not going to give these guns to <laughs> Uh, trigger happy, even though I, I've given most of my guns to trigger happy so far. I'm just gonna. Do, 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 do. Uh, can you do it like that? No, I don't think so. Yeah, there's not. Mm, I don't see any other weapon ports. On this guy. That's that's your weapon storage. Looks cool. And we're gonna get into transformation. But I have to be. I'll be back in a sec. So to transform them, you get rid of the instructions. Put a collector's car off the side. I'm gonna take off the guns. I don't think you need to. But you're gonna come. What are you gonna do first? Where are you gonna go first? Let's let's deal with the legs first. So you're gonna uh hmm. basically gonna gonna unpeg the legs, eh, and you wanna slide them down. They're on this series of hinges right here. You can fold out the foot, and you can close that leg, which. Uh, I don't think it, no, it doesn't look like it pegs in anywhere, it just, it just tries to keep with friction, and there you have a little leg all done for the moment. You can do the same thing on the other side. What is getting stuck? There we go. Fold out the foot. The foot shall be folded out. And then you want to... Ooh. No, I don't think you want to rot. Uh, yeah, you want to rotate the hips. There. You want to pull the arms out, like so. And this is the the transformation trick that I talked that so heavily impressive with trigger happy. You rotate. I believe it's the entire cockpit. Or no. I think you have to you have to fill up the cockpit and fold in the pylon things, the things, fold the landing gear in, fold that in, and then you can rotate the torso, plug it back into the crotch right here. Uh hmm. Uh, where am I going there? Am I going... Th Come on. There we go. So basically, you have a body that looks like that. And this is a really cool trick they did with Twin Twist. Top spin. You unpeg this back panel, and then you fold the arm down to reveal the double-jointed elbow, and then flip out the wrist. And I really thought that is a really cool... Panel. It also covers up the hollowness of the arm, at the same time covering both the elbow and the wrist, which is not very common. And then you straighten up his shoulder. You can do whatever you want with the wing. Do the same thing on the other side. Flip up this panel. Uh, flip down the wrist and fold out the elbow, close the panel up, and there you have a base robot, all done. Then we need his head, and just attach his head. Yeah. Uh, dramatic head attachment, please. It's not being dramatic. There we go, click. And you have Titan's Return Deluxe Top Spin in his robot mode. And he looks very cool and very chunky. So here's another size comparison with Trigger Happy. You can see they they don't share very many similar parts at all. 
Like, besides that little torso switch, I really don't think... Like, they don't feel like the same robot. Like, this guy is so heavily remolded that he's not even similar to this guy at all. Like, their jet canopies both end up on their back, sure. But they use them, they use their parts so differently. Like, he, like, Trigger Happy actually keeps a bit of his cockpit for his chest detail. And this guy just has a whole other chest that's on the bottom of his jet mode. They do some, they do different things with the wings. Like, if you, if somebody didn't tell me that these two were Mold Brothers, I couldn't tell at all. They don't look similar at all. But, yeah. This is Trigger Happy's naked mode. I can give him all those guns. Which I do, normally. So... But, the focus is topspin. And he looks good. I do like him a lot. He's... He's chunky. He's freaking mind wipe chunky, you know. Like thick thighs, definitely thick boots. Overall, very nice and very nice to play with. He's very solid for the most part. Nothing's really wibbling around. Like his hips are moving a little and his knees are kind of loose, but well, not kind of loose. He's got it. He's got one. Flop, he's got floppy, he's got a floppy knee, a really floppy knee. But, you know, that's something that can be addressed eventually. I have to take a look at the head sculpt. It is very iconic top spin. I'm glad they actually put some paint into the face. The silver face, the blue visor, and the yellow head crest all come across very nicely. You kind of can, you can almost... If you bend him down, you can almost see his things poking out his back. Then if there's one complaint, it's kind of... His torso is kind of a lie. It just stops right there. Like, it's just one flat panel, basically. And then there's... There's some molded detail in there. Which is cool, but... You know. I kind of would have liked a full torso. And he gets really thin. Like, it just goes... Vroom. Like, bodybuilders are jealous of this guy. <laughs> uh, Detail-wise, there's a bit more red. There's some more gold bits revealed in the shoulders. I kind of wish the wings could fold all the way back. Because them just sitting on his shoulders looks kind of odd to me. I, I like Trigger Happy's wings at the back, or wings wherever you want them, but... Like, this guy's fold forwards, Trigger Happy's fold backwards. I'm comparing him to Trigger Happy way too much, I find. You see these details that were on the thrusters now become knee pads. And he gets a little bit of white on his foot. And also the reveal of the white thighs. I also like this guy's vehicle mode a bit better than Trigger Happy's, because it, it's actually solid at the back end, like... The leg transformation makes it a solid piece back here, as opposed to, again, Trigger Happy's, who was all crotch in the back. Like, there's nothing covering his crotch. Uh, I think that's basically all I can say about the robot. Proportions look good. I, 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 I don't know. I'm not an expert on proportions. I don't know why people bug out about that kind of thing. I just like a robot that looks like a robot. I don't really... Probability wise his head is on a typical Titan Master Ball joint with nice range. He can look down a little. He can look up a little. He can waggle his head at things that are in his way. Like mountains he has yet to cross. Shoulders are on a ball joint. You can go full 360. Uh, there's also, you can use the transformation joint to shove his shoulders beside his head. I don't know why you want to do that, but you can. 
it's a thing you can do. You do have a little bit of inward and outward butterfly tilt, which is cool. You have a bicep swivel, which on mine feels a little feels tight, but you can get 360. You can get that full 360. That good old Xbox 360 degrees. You do have a double jointed elbow. Uh, you can go that far, and then the second joint can go all the way up. Which is nice. I really do like double joints on my robots. The more I see them, the more I wish they were on other... On more robots. It does have a waist swivel. Partly for his transformation, but it's also nice to have a uh, waist sole. He does have... Uh, you can unpeg his crotch, so you can have a bit of an ab crunch, which looks kind of ridiculous. His hips are on ball joints. Very nice range. And there's a cut in them for outward movement, so he can do the full Van Dams. There is a thigh swivel. Very nice. It's not. It doesn't look like a mushroom peg. Oh no, it's a mushroom peg. It's just up there. Uh, you do get uh, about 90 degrees on the knee, and I have not noticed these peg holes on his legs before. You can plug his guns into his legs in vehicle mode. Wow, I just noticed those. I'm so smart. But yeah. You, c you, you can play with how the knee looks with all the joints, the transformation joints, but you're not going to get more than 90 degrees, really. Uh, his knee pad is on a hinge, about that far out. And his toe, his foot is locked in position unless you missed, you detransform him when you can do a little bit of inward, I guess, so you can, I don't know, fudge a walking pose, I guess. I mean, that's all Vangelis is obsessed about is can a transformer have a walking pose? Yeah. Otherwise, his feet are static, no motion in them. But overall, he's definitely a very nice figure. I was glad to find him at my local Walmart. And I'm glad I picked him up. And if you find him, you definitely should too. If you're a fan of the Wreckers or the Jump Starters. Or just this design in general. But you can armor him up with his two guns. And I do say the double joints kind of give him a lot of personality in his guns. I really like like how this looks. Like This looks really cool to me. I can have one pointed up like, what you're going to do, and another one pointed right at you. And you can also, again, oh, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing, mate? They are a bit loose in his hands, I noticed. Like, there's no real friction there. You can combine them. And I haven't tried, but I don't think you can actually... Let's see. The question, can he hold his double guns in their chair mode? Uh, do, 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 do. Looks like it. Why, indeed, yes, he can. He can. He can do that. That is a thing he can do. And obviously, you still have all the places for Titan Masters to go even though they don't make sense on a robot. Because why are little robots going to sit on his uh, thighs, you know, or shins? It's just this particular handle. I think I might need to tighten the gun up, like, thicken up the peg with a bit of floor polish or something. I don't really want to, but... Because this one's not as loose. I want to just see something.
Okay, that's a little better. They're not flopping around. So, yeah, it's definitely that peg and that hole don't exactly fit. But, yeah. So, that's everything on Top Spin. He's, he's another good, solid Titans Return Deluxe figure. And, yeah, I definitely think... I'm glad I picked him up, and I think you should, too. <laughs> I don't know what else kind of conclusion to come to. If he was a bad toy, I'd tell you, I'd tell you to not pick him up. But, you know, Titans Return at this point seems to be hitting him out of the park, or at least hitting doubles and triples with relative ease. Although some people say this is their favorite toy of this wave. I don't have the rest of the wave yet. I don't have Cup, which I don't plan to buy the American one. I would rather buy the Japanese one because he looks better, like more accurate to the Season 3 model and he has his Target Master. Yeah, I haven't, I didn't, I never picked up Rodimus yet. I haven't picked up Perceptor and I don't remember what else is in Wave 4, but although some of those were probably from Wave 3. Nevertheless, good job, Top Spin. So, thank you for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. But until then, his wings are in the shapes of missiles. Keep it weird. <laughs>